Welcome everybody. Today we're solving the 2023 YEC further mathematics questions. We start with the objectives. Now let's go straight to it. Number one says express 3 over 3 minus root 6 in the form x plus m root y. 3 over 3 minus root 6 3 minus 6 is the same as what we do here is multiply the whole of this fraction the numerator and denominator of this fraction by the conjugate of the denominator this is about the first topic you do in SS1 the conjugate of the denominator is 3 plus root 6 so we are multiplying 3 over 3 minus root 6 we multiply the numerator by that conjugate 3 plus root 6 and the denominator too by that same conjugate 3 plus root 6 now that's a conjugate 3 plus root 6 is the conjugate of the denominator now what do we have 3 times 3 plus root 6 is going to be 9 plus 3 root 6 that's 3 times 3 9 plus 3 times root 6 which is 3 root 6 the denominator what does the denominator become 3 times 3 that's 9 3 times root 6 that's 3 root 6 let me write this 9 well and then the next one minus root 6 times 3 that's minus 3 root 6 and then minus root 6 times plus root 6 that will be minus root that's minus root 36 and then we move on that's the same as 9 plus 3 root 6 over 3 root 6 minus 3 root 6 is 0 and then we have 9 minus root 36 is 6 which simply means 9 plus 3 root 6 over 9 minus 6 is 3. So the numerator is the same as 3 into bracket 3 plus root 6 all over 3. And that simply means, of course, 3 is common to 9 and 3 root 6. So we can factor it out. And then we're going to have 3 here, 1, 3 here, 1. And the final answer is 3 plus root 6, which is already in the form x plus m root y now we go straight to the next which is number two the correct answer to that is b three plus root six now the next question says one over nine raised to power two x minus one equals if one over nine raised to power two x minus one equals one over eighty one raised to power two minus three x find the value of x this is a piece of cake i can write nine 1 over 9 as 9 raised to power minus 1 and then raised to power 2x minus 1 equals 1 over 81 is the same as maybe I should do this before going to this step let me leave it as 1 over 9 first 1 over 9 raised to power 2x minus 1 equals 1 over 81 which is 9 raised to power 2 raised to power 2 minus 3x and now 1 over 9 is the same as 9 raised to the power minus 1. So times 2x minus 1 equals 1 over 9 raised to the power 2 is 9 raised to the power minus 2 times 2 minus 3x. And that's the same as, of course, we know that if the bases are the same, then the powers can be equated. That simply means my minus 1 into bracket 2x minus 1 is equal to minus 2 into bracket 2 minus 3x so i can equate the powers minus 1 into 2x minus 1 equals minus 2 into 2 minus 3x which means minus 2x plus 2 equals minus 4 plus 6x and that simply means uh 2 plus 4 if you bring this minus 4 to the left hand side it becomes plus 4 equals 6x if you take minus 2x to the right hand side to the right hand side it becomes plus 2x so 6x plus 2x and that simply means 6 equals 8x so when you divide both sides by 8 of course that means x equals 3 over 4 and that's the final answer the correct option to that is a x equals 3 over 4 now we go straight to number 3 what does that say number 3 if x minus 5 is a factor of x cubed if x minus 5 is a factor of x cubed 
minus 4x squared minus 11x plus 30. Find find the remaining factors. Find the remaining factors. This is a polynomial of degree 3. That means it must have three factors. So we already have one and we need to find the remaining two. What do I do? I can just do the long division. I can divide x cubed minus 4x squared minus 11x plus 30 by x minus 5 which is a factor of it now how do you go x cubed divided by x that's x squared and now what do you do you multiply the whole of this by the x squared so i go x times x squared that's x cubed minus 5 times x squared that will be minus 5 x squared now you subtract how do you do that x cubed minus x cubed is 0 minus 4x squared minus minus 5x squared that's the same as minus 4x squared plus 5x squared which is going to be x squared of course minus and minus is plus so it becomes minus 4x squared plus 5x squared and that's 1x squared which is same as x squared you bring down the next thing which is minus 11x and then you go again x squared divided by x that's x then you multiply you multiply x minus 5 by that x x times x is x squared and then minus 5 times x is minus 5x we subtract again x squared minus x squared is 0 now minus 11x minus minus 5x minus times minus is plus so that's the same as minus 11x plus 5x which is minus 6x and then you bring down the next term which is 30 so what do we do again minus 6x minus 6x divided by x that's minus 6 and then we multiply x times minus 6 that's minus 6x and then minus 5 times minus 6 that's plus 30 so we subtract again as usual minus 6x minus minus 6x that's 0 30 minus 30 is 0 and then we are left to 0 that shows that x minus 5 is truly a factor of the polynomial x cubed minus 4x squared minus, 5, minus 11x plus 30 now we have got another factor this factor is a quadratic factor so we have to factorize it so that you know we uh, to split it into two linear factors and those will be the other two factors the remaining factors they want us to find x squared plus x minus 6 is the same as x squared that's um that's plus 3x minus 2x minus 6. of course we know factorization multiply minus 6x by x squared that's minus 6x squared think of two factors whose sum you know whose sum or differences plus x and product is minus 6x squared and those factors are 3x and minus 2x so what do i do next that's the same as x into bracket x plus 3 minus 2 into bracket x plus 3 and that means x minus 2 into x plus 3 and the other the remaining factors are x minus 2 and x plus 3 and the correct option is c x minus 2 and x plus 3 now we go straight to the next which is that's number 5 number 5 says evaluate the integral with this limit 1 0 of x into bracket x squared minus 2 or squared with respect to x how do we do that to do that you can just fact you can just evaluate the integral first before you now um, you know apply the limit let's see let me find the integral of x into x squared minus 2 all squared with respect to x first yeah what's that going to become okay this will become the integral of what x squared minus okay let me think of a way to go about that okay first of all let me say let let u be equal to x squared minus 2 that simply means du dx is going to be the same as 2x which simply means dx itself will be du over 2x now i want to rewrite this integral and that will make it that means the integral of x into bracket x squared minus 2 all squared dx is going to be equal to is the same as the integral of x times u of course i know that u is 
x squared minus 2. So that's x times u, the dot means multiplication, times u squared dot dx is du over 2x. What I'm doing here is trying to write the integral, the integrand in the standard form. What we want, we want to integrate is called the integrand. So this simply means now I can say x cancels x and I'll be left with the integral of u squared times du over 2 which is I can just write this simply as 1 over 2 multiplied by the integral of u squared du and that means 1 over 2 the integral of u squared is u raised to power 3 over 3 and then plus c which simply means u raised to power 3 over 6 plus c and we know that u is x squared minus 2 so that means x squared minus 2 raised to power 3 over 6 plus c so now to evaluate this integral to evaluate this one i can now go back to the original question so that means this integral i just copied the question and pasted it so now this will now be equal to x squared minus 2 raised to power 3 over 6. I don't need this c when I'm evaluating with this limit. So I just put the integral of x into bracket x squared minus 2 all squared. And that's x squared minus 2 raised to power 3 over 6. And then you put the limit 1, 0. So this is what you do. Put 1 wherever you see x. That will be 1 squared minus 2 raised to power 3 over 6 minus put 0 wherever you see x that will be 0 squared minus 2 raised to power 3 over 6 and that simply means 1 squared is 1 minus 2 that's minus 1 minus 1 raised to power 3 is minus 1 over 6 minus 0 squared is 0 0 minus 2 is minus 2 minus 2 raised to power 3 is minus 8 that's minus into bracket minus 8 over 6 you have to be careful with the signs and that's the same as minus 1 over 6 plus 8 over 6, which simply means 7 over 6. And that's 1 number 1 over 6. How about correct? Beautiful. The correct option is C, which is 1 number 1 over 6. Now we go straight to number 6. Number 6 says, in how many ways can a committee of three women and two men be chosen from a group of seven men and five women? That's combinational. now. So that's... Uh, that a group of three women and two men be chosen from a group of seven men and five women three women from five women that's five c three times two men from seven men seven c two and that's going to be equal to you can do this on a calculator it's an objective test so if you do that on a calculator what do you have yeah so my let me use my calculator five c3 times 7 c2 and that's 210 so now the answer is 210 and the correct option is d and not the a that the candidate chose here i got a question from a candidate by the way now the next one which is number seven says given that 3x plus 4 over x minus 2 into brackets x plus 3 is equal to p over x minus 2 plus q over no they said p over x plus 3 plus q over x minus 2 find the value of q this simply means when you resolve this fraction into partial fractions the numerator of the first partial fraction will be p and the numerator of the second partial fraction will be uh q so they want us to find the value of q so what do we do here this simply means we find we can find lcm the lcm is going to be x plus 3 x minus 2 so now if you divide this lcm by x plus 2 you'll be left with x minus 2 x minus 2 times p will be p into bracket x minus 2 plus divide this lcm by x minus 2 you get x plus 3 and you multiply that by q that means plus q into bracket x plus 3 and that's the same as so now that simply means that simply means 3x plus 4 over 
x minus 2 into x plus 3 is the same as p into bracket x minus 2 plus q into bracket x plus 3 all over x plus 3 times x minus 2. Now, since the denominators are the same, that means the, the numerators are, are also equivalent. And that simply means 3x plus 4 is equivalent to p into bracket x minus 2 plus q into bracket x plus 3. So here, what can we do? We can just put, I, I need to find only q. So I can uh, put x equals 2 to get, to get rid of p. If I put x equals 2, that means 3 into bracket 2 plus 4 is equal to p into bracket 2 minus 2 plus q into bracket 2 plus 3. And that is same as 2 plus 3. And that means this will be 0. And I'm going to be left with 6 plus 4. 10 equals 5q. And that means q when you divide both sides by 5 equals 2. So the correct option is D, Q equals 2. Now we go straight to number 8. If alpha and beta are the root of the equation 7x squared plus 12x minus 4 equals 0. Find the value of alpha beta over alpha plus beta all squared. Okay, how do we do that? Alpha beta over the square of alpha beta divided by the square of alpha plus beta is the same as alpha beta is C over A, that's minus 4 over 7. A is 7, B is 12, and C is minus 4. Alpha beta is C over A, which is minus 4 over 7, divided by alpha plus beta is minus B over A. That's minus 12 over 7. Minus 12 over 7. And we're dividing by the square of alpha plus beta. So that's what we have. is the square of minus 12 over 7. And that simply means minus 4 over 7 divided by 144 over 49 which simply means minus 4 over 7 times 49 over 144 and that's simply 7 here 1 7 here 7 4 here 1 4 in 144 is 36 and that's the answer is minus 7 over 36 and the correct option is c we go straight to the next which is number nine what does that say number nine um, let's see that if f the function f maps uh, x to 2 2 tan x let me just write what's written and and we have a function g which maps elements from x to x to square root of x squared plus g no x squared plus 8 find g of f of 45 degrees hmm. first of all i need to know to find g of f i know that f of x this is just the same as saying f of x equals 2 tan 2 tan x now what is g of f going to be that means g of f of x and i know that g of x is root x squared plus 8 now g of f now means i'm going to substitute x i'm going to substitute f of x for x in g of x so wherever i see wherever i see x in g of x i write f of x so that means g of f is going to be g of f is going to be equal to square root of x now is f of x and that means the square of 2 tan x plus 8 don't forget x in g of f is going to be f of x and what does that mean square root of the square of 2 tan x is 4 tan squared x and then plus 8 so what does that mean mm, okay now it means g of that g of f so now g of f of 45 degrees this simply means x in g of f is 45 degrees so that's equal to that's going to be equal to square root of 4 tan squared 
45 degrees plus 8. And what does that mean? That's square root of 4. What's tan 45? Tan 45 is 1. You might want to see that. Tan 45 is 1. So 4 times squared 45 is the same as 4 times 1 plus 8. That's actually the same as 4 times 1 squared and then plus 8. Which simply means square root of 4 times 1, 1 squared is 1 times 4 is 4. And 4 plus 8 is 12. And that simply means root 12 which is the same as uh, 2 root 3. Of course, you know that root 12 is the same as root 4 times root 3, which is 2 times root 3, which is 2 root 3. So the answer to that is 2 root 3, and the correct option is D. Now we go to number 10. An exponential sequence GP is given by 9 over 2. An exponential sequence GP is given by 9 over 2. 3 over 4, 1 over 8, and so on, find its sum to infinity. The sum to infinity is a over 1 minus r. So let's find r first. r is t2 over t1 or t3 over t2. This is 3 over 4, by the way. So I'm going to do t2 over 3, 1. That's t2 over t1. That's 3 over 4 divided by 9 over 2. And that simply means 3 over 4 times 2 over 9, which is the same as of course, 2 year 1, 2 year 2, 3 year 1, 3 year 3, and that's 1 over 6. So that means the sum to infinity is the same as a, which is 9 over 2, divided by, let me write it this way, okay, let me write it this way, 9 over 2, divided by 1 minus r, that's 1 minus 1 over 6, yes, a over 1 minus r, and that simply means 9 over 2, divided by 1 minus 1 over 6 is the same as 5 over 6. So that simply means 9 over 2 times 6 over 5. And that's 2 year 1, 2 year 3. And that's 27 over 5. And if you like, 5 over number 2 over 5. And that's it from number, and the correct option to that is B. That's it from number number 1 to number 10. I think we can take a break here and come back in a few. Thank you very much and catch you in the next. Bye-bye.